Bienvenue, nous sommes ici à Kustendorf, le village reconstruit dans l'ouest de la Serbie, à l'identique par Emir Kusturica, le célèbre cinéaste de « Papa est en voyage d'affaires »,« Underground »,« La vie est un miracle » qui s'est tourné pas loin d'ici. Et c'est le lieu d'un festival tous les ans où Emir Kusturica rassemble quelques vedettes très connues, des réalisateurs très intéressants, toujours un peu indépendants, rebelles, anti-système, et beaucoup de jeunes. Le concours, en fait, c'est des films courts de jeunes. Et c'est aussi l'endroit de magnifiques rencontres avec plein de gens très intéressants du monde entier, dans une atmosphère détendue, conviviale, dans une belle nature. C'est un endroit, c'est un peu comme si on retournait dans les années 50, ou comme si on rentrait dans un film qu'on a beaucoup aimé. Aux rues et aux bâtiments de Kustendorf, Emir Kusturica a donné des noms très symboliques, soit des grands héros des luttes populaires, soit des réalisateurs de cinéma qu'il a inspiré, ou alors des coups de cœur pour d'autres personnalités, toujours des rebelles. Et ici, on a le chemin vers l'amphithéâtre Noam Chomsky, vraiment bien nommé, puisqu'à Kustendorf, on travaille beaucoup à réfléchir, échanger sur l'information et la désinformation. Emil Kusturica, in your village, there is one amphitheater, amphitheater named Noam Chomsky. Why? <coughs> Because he was the one of those who explained us how the Western society functions. Uh, he was speaking about spectrum of narrow spectrum of freedom that is allowed in the mainstream media and how in fact uh, harmony is made out of the elements that you could touch and how most of the most important things are uh, staying out outside of the spectrum. And many books that I read, and I think <clears throat> this man is probably the most important thinker of the 20th century. Uh, most uh, of the thoughts that we, he conveyed us were in fact coming out of uh, uh, this linguistic roots and philosophy that was making synthesis out of uh, uh, fragmented thoughts of our uh, end of 20th century and the beginning of 21st, which is, a, uh, I would call, the era of uh, changing analog to digital from individuals to, to the society. And he was very helpful to understand all of this. And he was, uh, I would say, <clears throat> the only serious one that we had, especially from the United States, uh, the one who was giving us signs of and diagnosis of our society. Mm -hmm. The next one hopefully will be the one who will give us after diagnosis what is the uh, and how we could cure ourselves from the solution. consequences and the solution that is going to be visible in front of us. He was indeed also the basis of my vocation to study the media and MC Action is publishing the French version of Manufacturing Consent I think the most important book on media and ideology in, in this yeah. period. But Chomsky was criticized very strongly by French media, also European media, and so was recently your friend of yours, Peter Hanke, uh, Nobel Prize <laughs> of Literature, and the Western media criticized them, but there were no debates about the facts. Do you think this is that miracle. they are afraid? This is a miracle that he received a Nobel Prize. After he received, it was, a, it was announced, they said, miracle happens, we have to have never recognized independence of Kosovo, because the world is changing. And thanks to these great guys, including Assange, we have uh, uh, the new time of multipolar world coinciding with the appearance of great uh, people like uh, like Peter Handke. Peter Handke was uh, quite introvertive until he uh, found Serbia as uh, one of the motives of his literature. And I think it was not by an accident. This fracture of the world that was happening at the time of bombarding Serbia 
It was in fact uh, realizing the old, I would say, German, uh, Austrian thoughts about controlling uh, uh, Morava and Vardar Valley and creating a, a, a bond steel, uh, which is a NATO base, American base in, in mm -hmm. Kosovo. Uh, when they bombed us, they were not bombing just Serbia. They were showing to a Europe who is the boss of Europe. Mm -hmm. Because if you see today Serbia, who is still on the on the way to get to European Union, at the moment when England is pulling out, uh, so Peter Handke appeared on the fracture, not just uh, on the Serbia, because Kosovo is. Uh, uh, manipulation of, of Western media plus uh, the task to repeat that solve, uh, to solve the Eastern question is to make another Drangna Hostan. Mm -hmm. That's why they hate Putin, that's why they hate so much people who don't want to accept this uh, new conception of Drangna mm -hmm. Hostan. Peter Handke recognized the typology of how the Western media were unjust and speaking badly about Serbian people and how it, it is happening again when uh, Serbians wanted to liberate from uh, Osman Empire, from Turkish Empire, England, Germany and Western power did not want us to liberate. Mm -hmm. So they did not help to the small Christian culture to get their freedom and democracy. Serbia was very quickly after the first uprising 1804, uh, given what we lost in the medieval age. And Serbia again is becoming a democracy. Mm -hmm. But in the middle of the 20th century, the geopolitical uh, strategies are changed and the situation on the battlefield is changed. Mm -hmm. So this furious uh, uh, media propaganda that was going against the uh, Serbian people, there was something that Peter Handke was looking with the doubts. So what he, what he did, he came to Serbia and he was going to the, from the place to the place to see if Spiegel, Frankfurter Allgemeine Deutsche Zeitung, Tefan, Antendu, if they were telling the, to the audience, Western audience the truth or not. And he proved, in mm -hmm. fact, that they were not telling the truth. So that's why they don't want to discuss with him. And I think uh, it's very difficult for them. You know, mm -hmm. if you have uh, intellectuals who are defending uh, destruction of Libya for their own goods. If you have intellectuals who are coming to the des Libyan desert in, in Mokassinos and just uh, with open uh, white shirt and speaking about democracy and then uh, four or five years later you have a chaos. We have so many uh, uh, footprints of a chaos spreading around the world by the same power that these people are not valid anymore. And that's what I think made uh, truthful and, and the man who was looking for the just, even in the, in the Swedish Academy, not just thanks to what he was writing about Serbia, but the whole biography came as acceptable, mm -hmm. accept, acceptable at the time when the world was really changing. And I think People, uh, comfortable people on the West do not want to recognize this. Mm -hmm. But we are living in a different world today. In '99, your country was attacked by NATO and Brutal. the leader Solana. And in the Western press, it's a hero. And here in your he's village, Metchavnik, is in prison together with George Bush. Light, lifetime. Lifetime But, prison. Uh -huh. <laughs> Made in both. This was a. a One artist who came here and I asked him to, to paint it at the door of, uh, of the kitchen, of the lock room, mm -hmm. to have one of the symbols. It is, you know, in history we have many times Western uh, extending to the East and many, doing many mistakes. I think this one was, I would say, if one day we are going to witness a change of power in the world, Uh, everybody who will be speaking about history, he will start with the bombardment of Serbia. To bomb one nation that was in World War I, in World War II on the right side, but 
there are tendencies in the in the revision of history which are now even bringing to Auschwitz no Russians mm. and we know all that Russians liberated Auschwitz you have uh, the end of the uh, the World War two beginning of the World War two that was uh, 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 marked as an anniversary in Poland you have Germans you don't have Russians and this kind of uh, provisorial uh, look into the history was proved in fact that from time to time uh, revised history is just bringing a new catastrophe I hope that somebody will be smart and realize that if uh, the the oil and the gas were one of the reasons and the ways to 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 recover the economy this time you don't need to go to the Middle East you get it from Russia or America already is self-sufficient in in this uh, way to supply themselves so Peter Handke is making a synthesis of this very dramatic time in which Nobel Prize given to him is a fairness as one of the main signs of this great Western civilization mm -hmm. because I always believe that Peter Handke is a proof of the greatness of this civilization not Bernard Ari Levy and you this is what this this is commodity this is the 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 truth that could go through awarding such a man and proving my my thesis so Yugoslavia was a victim of a propaganda war do you see other countries afterwards also victim Libya others let's say all Middle East is sacrificed and even I think ISIS is uh, invented by by CIA and by Pentagon has been recognized by some US leaders I have that in my book yeah absolutely they, they, they recognize it they recognize it and there is a famous material about uh, uh, Rumsfeld who was uh, showing the uh, the what uh, what the Secretary of State uh, was showing in the United Nations he was showing the same thing but then the host in the TV I don't know what what was the name 60 minutes or something the man showed him first the proof of the journalist who was saying that they were poisoned by the same toxic material but uh, the 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 I think uh, Reuters uh, journalist was on the truck where he had seen a people Iranian people being poisoned by Saddam Hussein who they had given this poison which is biological weapon and when uh, Rumsfeld came to the studio he said and they showed him how he was meeting Saddam Hussein he said to the, the host is it me <laughs> and he said I don't know you could recognize so it's me it's me so we see the that even discovery of big historical swindle in which 15 years or 20 years later in the United Nations Tony Blair the devil and Rumsfeld uh, they are just together uh, George Bush the the junior accusing Saddam Hussein of using biological weapon which had been given by them yes and this is the the, the theater that we have to accept I don't think it's possible anymore yeah. why because they were not very uh, careful with China they were not uh, able to block development of the Russian economy plus specific weapons they have mm -hmm. so somehow we have balance of forces balance is changing. Of forces and changing the situations around the world you say it's no more possible but a few weeks ago Trump assassinated a high-ranked Iranian general Never and he threatened yes and he threatened to destroy cultural places for Iran what should the world do against that it's it can happen again but the problem with politics is uh, you know sometimes this is what uh, Pepe Mujica told me sometimes bad is good and good is bad mm -hmm. you know uh, Trump killing uh, making a crime on the soil of uh, sovereign country he was just continuing what
pres representatives of deep states in the United States tried to do with Milosevic. You know that they tried to assassinate him the same way. But this was not a drone, this was a tomahawk. That's just a change of, uh, of a tool. Uh, you know, big cultures and big civilizations were always replacing each other. But if anybody thinks that he could, uh, I would say, demolish Iranian culture, this is impossible. You know how many times from the 8th century to the 12th century Ara Arabs invaded Iran and finally they became Muslims uh, thanks to the fact they couldn't uh, resist. But today uh, it's a big nation, it's a big culture. Mm. Destroying few cultural places, you don't destroy the culture because culture are the people too. But this is very visible, what is the aim of what they call today uh, Christian Zionists. Uh, mm -hmm. it's in USA. In USA, the evangelist, Michael Pell is one of the priests. They believe that they could do, they could demolish, but uh, this is impossible today. There are huge spaces in which uh, going deep into the trouble, you bring yourself deeply into the trouble. Never forget. Unfortunately, now we are living in the time when we show that Monroe's doctrine and Atlantic charts are not uh, uh, anymore the samples of democracy and freedom because we see how much all Middle East suffered uh, in the name of uh, uh, formally what used to be a call for democracy was in fact call for war and getting into possession of their oil fields, which they don't even hide today. The problem is, I will go back to Trump, Trump is still better than Clinton's dynasty, because they are the worst representatives of this match. More hypocritical? More hypocritical and all the 80% uh, uh, of American media are the, uh, on their side. Trump is, uh, I would say, uh, he's a very good sample of the American crisis, which is interior crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, this crisis is not to be solved easily, I believe. And now, uh, if we cope with, uh, with the Clintons, if I was to choose, I would always choose a Trump, no matter how, how I would say, sometimes reckless he looks like but still better than the other administration. Mm -hmm. Still, I would say, more careful with the with Eastern world, which is, as we uh, just noticed before, is having uh, weapons that make uh, really scared those who believe that they could bomb anybody as they used to in the 90s. Serbia was a, a, a symbol of suffering that awakened Russia. Without Serbia being bombed so savagely, and for the reason of uh, destruction of Yugoslavia, which was on one hand provoked by America saying no ex-Yugoslavian Republic will be recognized if you don't come to, if you don't uh, go out of Yugoslavia, so we will not recognize you. This is the biggest signal for mm -hmm. the civil war that you could imagine. And the threat of the World Bank and IMF also. Absolutely. These are, the, these are the leverages of uh, how to how to to be a boss of the world, but as usual, Serbia, Serbia is today suffering uh, what used to be in the history politics of Austrian-Hungarian Empire. We are suffering the attack on our language. You have many languages around us. We are suffering a constant attack on our culture. But when you see how easily in America somebody says, "I will de destroy your culture." They did it already in Mesopotamia. They did destroy half of the half of the remains of something that was even coming before Old Testament. And the museum in Baghdad, I saw that completely destroyed and sold. To and when they asked the American general, why did you let this to be destroyed and looted? They said, sorry, this was not our priority. So now we at least know that culture is something they don't need. You know, in the development of the world of globalism, we cannot say that we don't have a good things. 
we have access to good things too, but uh, we don't have a guarantee that our culture will be preserved. Mm -hmm. They were, I remember in France, all these uh, famous philosophers, they were speaking about cultural diversity. In the end, globalism produced sexual diversity, not cultural diversity. And we have to fight like like to the end of the, the last blood to, to preserve the culture. That's what we are trying to do in this festival, to prove that people who make movies don't have to be just commercial uh, or just authors, which is today's separated genre. You are wearing a T-shirt with Julian Assange. I yes. don't know if it's visible enough. Um, is he so dangerous for the establishment? And sh shouldn't he deserve a good movie? He is the guy who appeared to be the new flag of a new time. And uh, it, was the, it was the obstacle for the Western world to overcome and to prove its democracy. He's showing the crimes and the lies. He's showing his alive crimes. He showed the videos in which we see that American soldiers are killing for fun. He had showed us in Serbia how many corrupted politicians were in touch with the American ambassador. He showed all over the world how this hypocritical period of Western civilization is going to, to its end. Not to its end of civilization. We know that Roman Empire was destroyed by Gothic, but it existed for another centuries in order to uh, absorb all the quality of this society. So he was not speaking against America. He was speaking against hypocritical regimes around the world, which were linked to the past that is uh, made of uh, banking systems, uh, foundation systems, and all that we have known from uh, the World War I up till now. So when you bring Julian Assange to its uh, knees and when you're s uh, slowly killing him, you're showing the weakness, not the strength. It's easy to show the strength on one man. But this is catastrophical mistake. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe that in uh, the same world in which Julian Assange is uh, brought to a misery uh, and needs to be let if we had a real, truly, the true, true democracy. On the other hand, uh, this pressure, this hydraulic pressure is just getting on the other side and you get uh, Peter Handke Nobel Prize. These are the, already the, the balances that are needed to be done, otherwise democracy will die. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a very good uh, Alexander Zinoviev. He was a Soviet, uh, he was a uh, writer who uh, escaped from Soviet Union. But then in the end, in 90s, he came back saying that Western world was truly democratic, but he was inspired by the Soviet communists. <laughs> They had to show on the parliament the processes that were really democratic which is not the case today. And I think now uh, democracy is not any more questioned. So I remember one of the reasons why Austrian and Hungar, uh, Hungarian Empire was just declaring the war to Serbia. One of the deep reasons, certainly not uh, the war didn't start because Gavrilo Princip killed uh, Franz Ferdinand. It's, it started because Germany wanted the war. And it's proved in history. But one of the reasons why it happened, because Serbia was uh, buying some cannons from France, but not from, from uh, Germany, buying from Škoda, not from Austria, mm. which was the major business. And France and Great Britain wanted also to have a world war absolutely. to dominate everybody with... And especially buying. England, because they wanted, they wanted Russia to be involved. And mm. they were even looking like allies and they brought them into the war being allies, but then they turned back and all this plutocarchy was installing Lenin and paying all uh, leading Bolsheviks to, to make this revolution. In Kustendorf here you saw Che Guevara, Fidel Castro, Maradona. Your last movie is about uh, Pepe Mujica on Netflix. 
So do you think Latin America is a hope in this horrible world? Not now. Latin America, I think, will be disciplined in the much more... I see the new... Uh, this is uh, uh, really a, a free projection. I think America will give up on Middle East and Europe. This is going to take another 10, 15, 20 years, but we'll never give up on Latin America. I think they are going to squeeze it, but there is a, uh, there is a, a inspiration, social inspiration that gets connected. The uprising in Herzegovina was led by Orthodox priests, some of them. And we know that Catholic priests were part of many revolutions in so we are coming, coming to the seeds and to the roots of brotherhood that exists in between the two. And I am really life inspired by Latin American belief that uh, society uh, uh, must be more just than it is. And you see that these people, you cannot just go. You see Chile, you, you see... Argentina. Resistance. The resistance is in the seeds and in the blood samples of the people. And thanks to these people, thanks to Che Guevara, thanks to Fidel Castro, I, Hugo, have, Chavez. Hugo Chavez, my close, uh, I adore him because he was the one who was able to turn the whole situation like in cinema. He was captured, but then he could have... Would have been a good filmmaker. <laughs> it would be a great director. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have even devoted in my last CD the song to Fidel Castro, who is not popular at all around the world, but to me he is one of the idols. And I still live in between my religious feelings and these people who were uh, some kind of saints around, mm -hmm. around this uh, world that was, uh, first of all, colonized, killed, uh, genocide upon them and then slightly they were growing into the social giants mm -hmm. and uh, Pepe Mujica is probably one of the biggest because Pepe Mujica is uh, a sample it's it's a biography that is very close for example to Scorsese's taxi driver which mm -hmm. we lost today you know you go into the terrorism, anarchy, and then you come to philosophy of Seneca and something that is so stoic and so good and so smart. Mm. Today, they fabricate all of these presidents. Yeah. They are fabricated Marketing without products. products. They are not coming from a real life adventure. Mm. That's why the world is so uniformed and I would say uh, with no uh, social ideas. No social ideas applied except this last Uruguay's uh, strategy in which if you have a three million people, you could preserve sovereignty with eight million cows. But then you have to find where to sell them. Right. I would say for Serbia, we are seven million people uh, living here and we have absolutely devastated agriculture. These men who will awaken agriculture in Serbia, but not on the basis of few rich Arabs or few rich Serbs who are just buying all, but bringing it back to the situation before the World War I, when you had a small parcel a, a peasant who was uh, having enough food, who could uh, make pay school for the kids in, in Vienna, and who could also go into the war if necessary. Mm -hmm. And I think, for example, what uh, uh, Uruguayan paradigma could be applied to the best in Europe, in Southeast Europe, is our country. Mm -hmm. uh, the conclusion, this uh, wonderful festival of Kustendorf 20, we saw many countries, many styles, confirmed talents, um, very... Uh, all uh, filmmakers honored and also a big space for young filmmakers. Do you think this youth is our hope for a better world? I think even uh, it's how much they know and how much they don't know.
they are at the place where we are trying to uh, rewoken uh, the idea of unity of commercial and artistic movies. Today, this is very much uh, by the TV series, by Netflix, by, by the way, I'm very happy that Netflix accepted documentary. I would have never given them my feature film. Uh, because I believe that these kind of carriers are good to bring to your home uh, such a portrait. So this place is insisting on this unity. When they start making movies and all this competition, they are given by the life the chance to mix their strong feelings and their brain. In the commercial cinema, it used to be the tendency, today market defines the behavior and this is very sharply separated. So we believe that bringing generation after generation, starting with this, we are going to come again in the world of utopia that will be spread around the world in which these people will have their own place. Thank you very much. Hvala lepo. Merci beaucoup.